Right, yeah, so me and Jono going off for another ride, going for a couple of rides in the last 24 hours. Absolutely knackered, but can't say no to a ride, especially when it's with someone else. I'm always wanting to go on rides with people, and now they're slamming me with invitations. <laughs> wow, Jono's going fast. Ooh. Water. Bridge. Big tree. Big tree down. There's a fire down there. Yeah, this is pretty cute. Different sort of trees you'd find down at the riverbank. Because this is what this would be in the uh, wet season. Bit of a river. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is not. These rocks are all really smooth. And there's heaps of them. So it's a little tricky finding traction. A little bit of water. <laughs> yeah. It must get pretty high up. That tree looks like it's from last wet season all ripped out. Yeah, you can sort of half tell which way the water flows. Alright. Which way are we gonna go? Getting buried. See if I can even get out this way. I can, but it's going to be just as bad. Sandwise. Yep. Let's do it. Alright. Let's do some bear grill shit. How <sighs> oh, the mission? Whoa, two wasps fighting. Oh sweet, they're fighting a spider. Oh yeah. Get moving. Thrust into the control gauge. Thrust. Okay, so the lesson to learn today is don't try across dry riverbeds. That's the second attempt at one. One's back where that car graveyard is in another video. And it was not fun. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Ah, no water. So obviously the river's still going in most parts. Even the bit that we uh, rode through, it'll be all underground and just uh, wouldn't surprise me if the water re level even reached up here in the wet season but uh, all the places I've gone to in the next ooh, in the next month the uh, wet season starts October it's just the start of September 
Oh god. Yeah, buddy. Make it nice. If the water was deep enough and that tree was solid, which I doubt it is, <laughs> you'd be able to make a nice rope swing out of here. Any crocs in there? What? Crocs? Yeah, it runs straight to salt water. Salt water, I see it before crocs. Yeah. Runs straight to salt water. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah, so that river connects to salt water on the coast, so there'd be crocs in there. Had an idea to set up a swing rope, but it wouldn't be a good idea. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying was um, just the start of September, I think it's the 4th today. Not sure when this video is going to get edited and put up because I've got two other rides I'm trying to do. But I've got plenty of time because I'm not working. Yay me! When you work and you want time off, and when you want, when you've got time off, you want to fucking work. But um, yeah. So September, October's next. That's when the wet season starts. Um, been here since the start of the year, and haven't seen any rain. We hello. And apparently it rains a bucket load. Pun intended. I got my tax back too, and I'm not sure whether I want to try enjoy it, buy some things, buy some work-related things, try and get me into work, like a course or a ticket. Or if I want to buy my um, stage one kit from Bestial Sports Bikes. That had been working up till now, got my tax back. Oh, bam, would have done it as soon as I looked in the bank and went, oh, my tax is back. Yeah, buddy. I would have been like, click, 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 click. But, uh, yeah, I'm a big believer and everything happens for a reason. So, we'll see what happens with... Because last time my contract ended, didn't get renewed, so I moved over here with my partner who was already here. And I got this job, which was good. Now I've lost this job, I believe I'll get something better soon. Or, uh... Yeah, something will happen. Maybe I'll win the lotto. Send me your lucky numbers, everyone. <laughs> oh, make up your mind which way we're we going. But anyway, what will probably happen is I've got GTA 5 coming, pre-ordered. I do have money left for that, because you know, if you shop with EB Games when you pre-order, they only take like this much out. And then when the game, just before the game's released, they take the rest out. So it's so like, why can't, it's online anyway, if you go in the store, it's different. It's like, I want to pay for it all! The game will probably come, that comes out in just over two weeks. I doubt it'll be delivered here in WA as quick as it would have been if I was living anywhere else. But I'll probably get the game, I'll have plenty of time to, uh, to play it while I'm uh, looking for work, obviously. And then I'll get a job and I won't be able to play it as much. <laughs> it's either one or the other. Work or play, work or play. I've got so much footage, I don't know what to do with it. And I don't like leaving my uh, videos too long for all the people who watch it, in case it's boring. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I've got a new video editing program too, which is holding up my production. Because uh, I'm figuring out how to use it. All the different little bits and doobie wackers. i got ideas of what to do, but uh, 
not knowing how to use the program is zip but at least I can split audio, put multi-tracks in, have heaps of uh, tracks going at once. If I was using uh, the Windows 8 version of Windows uh, Movie Maker, which is bloody terrible. Like, oh my god, don't even get me started. The old one on uh, XP, oh, I could use that for days, because you had the timeline was multi, you could split audio, that had heaps of transitions and effects. This one's like, bare minimum. It's like, what was the point of releasing it? Where the hell are we going? Are we still recording? We better be, yeah! Yeah, it sucks not working from when you're working. And you used to have an X amount of money come in every week, fortnight, month, however you get paid. And then the carpet gets pulled from underneath you. And uh, Centrelink, I've got to apply for that yet. Which, in case you're wondering, people overseas is uh, welfare or the dole. You live off the government and you get absolutely F all to live off. Let's put it this way. My two bikes, uh, fortnightly payments, isn't even what I get in a month off Centrelink. Not to mention food, electricity, fuel, phone, net. The mob, if you're paying the mob off, no. <laughs> we better be going somewhere good, Jono. And uh, yeah, with Centrelink too, if you've got a absolutely any, any kind of savings. For instance, now I've got the tax in there and I've got a little bit left of savings which is depleting very quickly. They want you to live off that. So you've taken your hard-earned time and cash and put away some savings for a holiday or a car or your rego or whatever, new computer or Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, and they ask for your statements and that. And if you've got, say, uh, over $1,500 or $2,000 in there, uh, they won't start paying you till you've used all that. Or, um, for instance, when I got let go of my contract last time, before I moved over here, um, I got paid out on my holiday leave, as, as you do. And it took a month for me to get on to Centrelink, or for them to get back to me to have an appointment to apply for uh, government supportive funds while you're not working. And, and they said, oh, what happened to this money? And uh, I don't know, a lot of people in Australia, if they're smart enough, know the ins and out of the system. So what you do is you take all that money out in small little pieces so you can uh, make it look like you got F all in there and like hang on, at least hang on to some of it without worrying about blowing it on your bills and that because it is fucked. It is, it is, it's, well, it's one thing to lose your job but then to lose all your financial stability like and then once that's all gone and you're actually on there they want you to uh, they, they won't support you with like getting like your responsible service of alcohol or gambling conduct so you can get little bits of work here or get into a course. Some courses are free. They're usually full of fucking retards. Just hold the class up and shit. And yeah, and then they expect you while you're studying and paying off all this shit to buy books or whatever else you need. This is a really bitchy fucking vlog, but uh, hopefully this wind is killing most of it so I can't use it. I'm just really fucking pissed off and sad. I won't say depressed. I haven't started cutting myself yet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm usually a very, very positive, fun-loving guy, but I'm just really down about it at the moment. I'll pick myself up soon enough, you watch. Bananas! If you like peeling your bananas. No, if you like peeling your bananas. Giggity! Alright, I haven't been this far down. Oh, look, there's ducks! Oh, goose! Geese! Gander of geese! That's a fucking lot of geese. Gooses. There's a horsey. I'm the king of the world! This road goes from 
Benjamin the gravel. Oh, that brace feels good on our balls. It's cooling it off. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we're going to go down there. Ah, blowjob. Diggity. See, I think my pants are falling down. Oh, I can't see. I feel like it. I wonder if this road... Hey! Well, apparently this is where we're going. I was hoping we'd get up close in between those rocky mountainy parts. And the quote KLR Ricks. Big shout out to awesome American buddy traveling around over there. We don't have too many uh, trespassing signs in Australia. It's usually private property keep out or there isn't one and the farmer will come and chase you down and just go, sorry man. That way or that way? Which way? Wrong way, you turn. There you go, Rick. That's probably why there wasn't any uh, signs. Dead end. <laughs> Obviously, besides the Cambodia trip, which I'm still pretty pissed about, I'd love to go to the US. They got some awesome rides over there. Not that we don't here in Australia, but uh, like I've said in a previous video, I just want to get out of the country and go exploring. And he's doing some nice exploring of his own country. Which I could do, and one day might, but I don't think the range on my ZX-10 is going to be very good. Not to mention from here to anywhere else, 90% of the road is straight for at least 500 kilometres. have to put a lot of planning into it. Get on the other side of the road, you dick face. See, I told you tourists are dangerous. And they're Brits four-wheel drive. Alright. We have arrived. Again. Hopefully. I'm gonna go on this side. Some of this stuff is hard, and then some of it's not. Oh, this would be a wicked little jump if I could do them. Wow, that was soft as balls. Oh, poor John, I left him in a cloud of smoke because of that soft shit. Uh, don't let go of the throttle too quick because make the front end dig in. Oh, 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 that's not good. I hope you can see. Nice, <laughs> stuck it. <laughs> Sorry, John Ho. Oh, he stalled, I think. Sorry, dude. That just fucking couldn't tell what was um what was solid and what wasn't. Like I was checking my mirrors to see where you were, and no, there was no dust. And then over that bump, it just went in that really soft stuff. And I looked back, and there was just nothing but dust. So this look familiar? Last time I came here, you were super pissed. <laughs> 
Uh, what on bikes? On a scooter. <laughs> on a scooter. Fuck me, how'd you get through the sand? It was wet season, it still had mud. Alright. We got fucking obliterated drunk. Yeah. And decided to go on a fucking bike adventure. <laughs> on his scooter. Double. Well, on the way back this road, you go in front, I got my goggles in the back, so... Um, I'll be able to see a little bit better, but... Just won't be able to breathe. Alright, we're off again. Letting John go in front because I got goggles, I've just put them on instead of me sunnies. Because, uh, as you just saw, <laughs> he couldn't see shit. Whoa, we nearly lost it there. Whoa, that's a big, thick bit there. And I nearly lost it there, sit more forward. Oh, he's in the fence. Woo! Sit more forward. He's letting the front wheel go everywhere. Oh, he's in the fence again. Wow. I'm going to sit back here. Alright. Time to move. I think you come down this way. Oh yeah, there's fresh tracks. Well, we've been out for a few hours. Hey! Yeah, I think you went down this way. Oh, sweet! Oh, I wanna go play down there. Can't believe they made it out here drunk on a scooter. Maybe they were so drunk or whatever, they hallucinated and they just thought they made it out here. <laughs> Another dried up part of a riverbed along here. That is a like we've covered some ground today. A lot of different places. It gives you an idea of uh, when it rains, how much water is around the place. Oh, big birds! Go chase them! <laughs> They're like these crane type things. They're almost as tall as me when I stand up. If you can see them, they're fucking huge flying off. Fucking pterodactyls of the bird world. Without their uh, vicious nature. Well, if you ask me, I think we're going away from the river. And back towards this camp wherever we passed. to try and cross it. This will be interesting. After you. <laughs> I reckon if we keep to the right, 
because it doesn't look like it's been washed out as much. It should be good, but the question is how deep it is. I doubt it's going to be any deeper than our bikes. I really don't want to get these... Shut up, these boots wet. These are my road riding boots, but they need a wash. Alright, so... Gunner doesn't... He's trying to get back to the main highway now, because he's got to go to work. And the sun's going down. Now he's gone this way. He doesn't think that connects to a connects to the highway. I don't think it does either because we're going. Away from where we were. I know it's a piss weak excuse on me, otherwise I would have tried to cross it, then John I would have almost had no choice. But um it's bad enough I'm riding in my good road riding boots. I don't want to get them soaked through because they are uh, on the road bike they keep the water out pretty good and I don't want to uh, get them stuffed. I think we're going to get lost out here. John must have had some vodka in that uh, camel pack. <laughs> yeah, he wants to turn around a bit, yeah. Nah, I reckon we're going further away. Because I reckon the road that we come on is over that way. Because we've come this way and snaked around. Alright. Never let Jono lead again if we make it out of here. <laughs> nah, that's all good. I got half a tank of fuel. And I didn't use half a tank to get here, so we'll be fine. Let's see if he uh, takes my advice to go all the way back the way that we came or if he wants to try and find some other way because uh, I need to get my bike a hose down when I get back I haven't the last couple of rides and I don't want shit to get too uh, permanent this is pretty nice out here though I'd love to get over that way closer to those mountains And the dude I went for a ride with yesterday is going for a ride on Saturday. I'm contemplating whether to go because uh, he can ride. And his bike's a lot lighter, faster. And whatever other excuse I can make. I should buy like a compass stick on here. So I know which way we've been travelling. <laughs> oh! Squeaky clean! Here's a good little trick for you. If you're, uh, if you're a little lost and you... And you can't recognize the trail like if you've gone off like that way or that way and you can't find the trail that you originally come on um, and you're local to the area and you have a fairly decent sense of direction one way that can help you is you see where the, the sun is at this time it would be you know I know which way it will be facing outside of my house, so I know my house is that way. <laughs> so if I just go straight that way, I'll get to my house. So I know that town is to the left of me. Also like a, it's like a Bear Grylls trick if you, you know, have a watch on, which I don't because it's broken. Get a little tricky, you know what I mean? Like, um, you might have your mobile phone on you, you might not have a reception. Every mobile phone has a analogue view of a clock. You do the trick that way. Point the 12 o'clock at the sun and 
to win there and the hour hand is north. And you go from there. But um, it's pretty easy to find north. Sun sets, rises in the east and sets in the west. So uh, I'm just dribbling on random crap. That's <laughs> not 100% accurate, but yeah. Oh. That way. <laughs> he really wants to get out of here. But I'll let him go. Ahead a bit. Oh, I'll just ride a little slower. Lovely. <sighs> Damage report. Bent front brake lever. I think she's a bit flooded. Oh, how's my GoPro? You right there, baby? You still flashing red? Yeah! Oh, minimal damage. Hopefully. She's just a little flooded. I think I was going too slow. My leg. Oh, there's more of this shit up here. Another thing you can do is follow the uh, telegraph poles. They always lead somewhere. So that stuff was fun and awkward at the same time. There you go, you can get faster. Radio, back on the road. We go home, wash this bike, have a shower. See if I can't bend this front brake lever back. And uh and have fun editing this editing this five hour fucking ride. So uh see you later.